Hey everybody, this is Kevin Flurledge. Today I am going to show you how to draw background images in PowerPoint for use in Tableau. Now you'll, you probably know that I did this with my drunk driving viz and that's the background you're looking at right now. And more recently I created this background to be used for my iron viz agriculture viz. So we're going to show you kind of on the fly how to do that. So um, if you take a good look at this, this is really just a series of rectangles and triangles, all of different color, and the exact same thing with this viz, except we got some kind of images overlaid on top of that. So let's just get to it real quick. So we're going to start off with a rectangle. So you go up to Insert and Shapes, and we will select a rectangle and just draw that out. I pretty much always get rid of outline. So if you go up to Format, Shape, Outline, you hit No Outline. Then we're going to go to Shape, Fill. We're going to select a red color. Now when I do this, I like to copy and paste things so that they stay the exact same size. So no sense in creating a new rectangle when I need one of the exact same size. So that one, I got rid of the outlines already. So let's just make that yellow. So we kind of got this starting part here. I'm going to select these again. You know what? I'm going to just select one of them. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to stick it right next to it. And the great thing about PowerPoint is things just snap right into place. I want to make this a little bit thinner. We're going to fill it with a little bit darker color. I'm going to copy this and paste that again. And we're going to fill that with a little bit darker yellow. Maybe something like that. All right, now I'm going to come back up to insert and I'm going to grab this right triangle. I'm going to make it a little bit small to start. Shape outline, none. Shape fill, we'll use that dark red. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and we will stick that. And now I look at it, I need to rotate it. Okay, we're going to stick that right there. It's not quite big enough, so let's make it a little bit bigger. All right. And we are going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy, copy that. If you hit the shift key, you rotate it and you can get it the exact angle you want. So we'll plop that right there. Fill that with that darker yellow. And you can see we kind of got this thing started. Um, so now what I'm going to do is really just copy and paste this a bunch of times and make some things larger. So select that whole thing copied it. Now I'm going to paste it. I'm going to stick that right next to it. We're going to move this tri these triangles for now just so we can see what's going on. We'll make that a little bit taller. Same with this one. Slide that triangle on the end and you can really see where we're going with it now. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Copy, paste, Drag that up. I don't know if I can do those together. No, I didn't think so. Worth a try. Drag that up. Take that back down there. I think I missed. Okay. Sometimes they don't snap perfectly, so it always makes it easier if you zoom in a little bit. So I think I got that one. Let's move that out of the way, and we're going to do the same thing on this side, on, this, on the bottom. Alright, zoom back out, and we're going to do one more. This one we don't need the, the 3D effects, so we're just going to copy those, those rectangles. One thing you want to do is make sure you deselect the, both of them, and just only select one because it will try and stretch both of them. And maybe I'll stretch these out just a little bit more. Alright, and you pretty much have, with that quick exercise, that same background. Now, when you want to actually use it as a background what you should do is select the whole thing and you'll see all these different shapes selected you right click on that click on group and then click on group again and what this does is bring this as all as one image then you can right click on this little border save as a picture save it wherever you like and you have a nice background image I'm going to show you how I did this one as well. The one major difference is really it's the same rectangles and triangles, except uh, I have some shapes on here. So I'll show you how I do that. So let's create a new sheet, new slide. Get rid of that. And let's start off just like we did before. Let's bring in a rectangle. I am 
going to get rid of the outline and I'm going to fill it with say that green color you know what let's fill it with black sorry all right now I'm going to do the same thing copy that rectangle bring it over to the side let's make it a little bit smaller I'm going to insert a, another triangle just like last time, we're going to get rid of the outline. We're going to make that one black as well. And then we're going to hold the shift key and we're going to rotate it. Let's see, how do I want it? Like that. And I am going to zoom in for this. A little bit big. There you go. You can see it kind of snap. So we've got pretty close to what that, that top portion. I'm going to just stretch it a little bit. Now I'm going to cheat here. I'm not going to actually draw those triangles and things with the green. I'm just going to... Uh, just like in Tableau where you can float things behind or in front of things I'm gonna just kinda cheat it and float a green square behind it so let's do the same thing get rid of the outline let's fill that with this green here and then we'll right click send it back okay you can kinda see we're already pretty darn close to what we want I'm gonna copy the black again paste it let's do that I'm gonna make this a little bit taller I don't know how tall I need it, so I'm going to copy this triangle, rotate it around, pop that into place, and then bring that down. So we pretty look pretty good there. And just move that up a little bit. And then same thing, I'm just going to copy that background and send it to the back. And we are pretty close to being done here. Let's see, I don't want that. I started to copy that, but let's copy all the black. Let's bring that down. And we are going to get rid of all that. Oh, no, we're not. We're just going to drag this one down a little bit. So you pretty much have that. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and group this. And then I'm going to show you how I brought in these images that kind of fade into the picture. And you see I'm using a little slightly different colors. Probably using that stark black it probably isn't the greatest idea. But I'm going to show you just how I'd use the circles. The other ones are images from the Noun project that are just a color that's slightly lighter than the background. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do this with the circles. We stay right here in PowerPoint. So if we go to Insert and choose a circle hit shift you'll get a nice perfect circle if you don't you'll get an ellipse so we get a nice perfect circle here let's get rid of the outline like I almost always do and we're going to use something just slightly lighter than black let's try that yeah that's perfect and I'll try and zoom in here so you can well shoot sorry guys and all I do is just copy and paste a bunch of these right here and it worked this it would work the same exact way with an image um, and then what I would do is just reduce some of the, you know, kind of randomize the size a little bit so not everything's the same exact size. And then when you're done, just uh, group them again. And I'm not done, but you get the idea. Save as, and you have a really cool background image for your Tableau visualization. That's it. Just wanted to show everybody how that's done. I had a lot of people ask when I did the drunk driving viz and a lot of people ask when I did the farming um, iron viz ar agriculture viz. So just wanted to share that with everybody. It's really pretty easy and you can do it all with a tool you're really familiar with. So no need for Photoshop or um, anything like that. Just uh, Just PowerPoint. So thanks a lot. Appreciate it.